Um, use of tweezers. Yep. Have you seen the ones on Facebook recently? The new ones? Uh, I have, yes. The Necromunga. All right. I've kind of given up talking too much about teasers because we sell enough of them as it is. For any trailer boat to compete against the big boats, you really do need to use teasers. Your small little boat with your little outboard motors really isn't putting out a whole lot of vibration compared to the 40 foot twin diesel game boats. And to basically get the fish excited and get them up, you really do need teasers. We've got a massive uh, selection of teasers which I'll, I'll kind of pull up and try and explain why you should use them and how you should use them. Okay, the most famous teaser we make is actually the Witch Doctor. Um, I started making it 51 years ago when I was 14 years old and it's been selling out ever since. The beauty of the Witch Doctor is it actually dives below the water and um, stays down deep so it doesn't cross your lines and does bring the fish up. It's actually got like a a, um, oh, what would you call it? I guess a goldfish swimming action is the reality of it. It just wobbles around. And I've actually got one here. And that just wobbles around flashing light. Okay. By adding those three teaser strips, you've actually got a three dimensional um, teaser. And it basically replaces a dredge and has been responsible for winning the uh, Paul Stevens Inner Club. Uh, the most important of which is the Necromunga, which is actually a witch doctor, which, as you can see, has glowing perspex. Is that glowing in your screen? Can you actually see the glowing of the edges? Okay. Basically, what this perspex does, it actually gathers light and chucks it out the sides and below, because most of the other things that shimmer uh, in the water only shimmer from above and you're above and the fish are below so it's really doesn't do a whole lot um, for it you know for example you know these are the common fish strips that we hang off the witch doctor and it's great when the lights in the right direction you can actually see it but if the lights and lights in the wrong direction it's just silhouettes against the surface so just in the last week we've actually brought out these fish that we call ne necromunga fish which because the edges glow it actually they can be seen very clearly from below so by using a witch doctor with the flash strips and the necromunga things, um, it really should be a very devastating teaser and very easy to use. Uh, sadly, they're made in Australian Costa Mint. And uh, the witch doctor themselves are around 300 bucks with the flash strips and stuff at about another 80 or 90 bucks for that. So you're up for about 400 bucks and Makos will eat them. So maybe get an insurance policy on them. But um, they do work incredibly well. They've worked for years and years. The other teasers that people use, you know, there's lots of them, is just simply a little bird. This is just troll behind your boat, not on a rod, on a tail line, like four millimetre Venetian blind cord. And that's just followed by a bunch of squids. That's very, very effective as well. Okay, these squids actually have that new additive in there. That's a Brad J. Um, teaser chain and we also sell the fish by themselves so you can actually just chuck a bird out maybe with three or four of these behind them they're about 20 bucks a pair and once again very very effective the thing about teasers though is you have to run them so that they work properly and the way you actually deploy a teaser is first of all you put your lures out in the water then you get your teaser cord without the teaser on it because the witch doctors dive down. It's quite hard to tell where they are because of refraction. refraction. You actually just put out the uh, teaser rope, maybe with a ball on the back of it or a bird, and you put it out so it's about 15 foot in front of, say, the long corner lure or the short corner lure, and that's its position. Then you pull it in, clip your witch doctor on and put it back down. For any teaser to work and catch you more fish, it does have to be very close to something with a hook in it. Because teasers do work, you'll get fish come up um, to eat the teaser and have nothing to uh, eat close to it and they'll just swim off. They'll actually swim away from the, up the front of the boat. If a fish grabs a teaser and it won't go off to a lure, you pull the, lure, the teaser in and you pull the lure in behind it at the same speed you're pulling the teaser in. Okay, And eventually 
it'll give up on the teaser and grab the lure or the bait that you're trolling. Teasers are incredibly important. And, and I'll tell you how important they are. In the tournaments in Florida, um, where the guys are fishing for sailfish, they're using dead baits, they're using uh, dredges, they're using flippy floppies, uh, which is another teaser we've got, which is a, a string of uh, squids with little squids off the side of it and basically looks like little birds skittering along, along the surface. In Florida, they will use up to nine teasers and five rods. A tournament boat fishing for a million dollar tournament will spend around about 10,000 US dollars on dredge bars, spreader bars, squids um, for the tournament. After which they throw them away, buy new ones for the next tournament. So they you think teasers are worth $10,000. The most amazing thing I've ever seen is when we went to a the Bahamas to fish a tournament in the Bahamas and all these big 65 foot boats roll up with about eight or nine crews on it. They tie the boat up, Little a guy gets off with a folding table and several eskies full of mullet. And he then proceeds to rig mullet for the entire time of the tournament and has a split shift with one or two other guys where they are rigging mullet for the entire tournament, upwards of four or 500 mullet and they put mullet on their dredges, up to 75 or 80 mullet at a time. They troll them for an hour and then replace them. And that's how important they think teasers are. And you come to Australia and somebody once sort of said that um, you don't need teasers, that they only get in the way, they're just for selling to fishermen. And I tell you, it's, it's the worst thing that's ever, it's the worst thing that people believe in, in game fishing. Teasers do work. Yes, you do need them if you want to catch a lot of fish. To the point where I've been talking about using five lures at a time. Um, you're better off using two lures and three teasers than you are five lures. And certainly you're better off with at least one teaser out there even if you're trolling five lures. And take lures out of the pattern uh, if you don't think you've got enough hands to troll teasers. You know, to the point where guys who are fly fishing um, uh, for marlin stuff use two teasers and they raise enough fish with the two teasers uh, on their own. So teasers are certainly very important. Um, a lot of guys do troll teasers, we sell a lot of them and um, have done for many, many years. But there certainly is this thing, especially in Victoria, uh, for the tuna, where guys just don't think they need teasers, even though one of the main charter, charter boats in, in Portland, who doesn't fish the GFAA rules, has been using a lure off the back of the spreader bar for the last two seasons and been doing incredibly well. He's using 80 pound tackle um, and it doesn't fit in with the GFAA rules so you guys can't do it if you want to score points.